Hello again, all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic, and I thank you for joining me on this wonderful day. I have been bombarded with requests for this song, so I will not make you wait any longer. Here is Nova Rockefeller with Dear Nova. Keep the rapes to myself, keep the hate for myself to myself. How many people do that? And it's not healthy, but there's so many people that are afraid to talk about it. They're afraid to be open and honest about the things that have happened to them, which is how you heal. You have to confront your demons. That is the only way that you make it through any kind of pain or anxieties or fear is to face that fear head on. We've taught our kids this time and time again, you know, when they were too scared to drop into the bowl at the skate park. And then once they realize they did it, all of that fear that they had built up inside of them was so much worse than the actual reality of the trick that they were trying to pull off. And I think that that is true no matter what kind of fear that you have, no matter what kind of issue that you're dealing with in your life, you have to face your fear. This is something that I've had to do with anxiety. This is something that I've had to do with depression. You have to force yourself to do the things that you're most uncomfortable with. I'll keep the fucking rapes to myself and the hate for myself to myself like everybody else. Streets so dark and the park looks bright. Jumping off swings, trying to reach new heights. And bowls in the slides, counting stars in the skies. My reflection in the window, I get lost in my eyes. Looking to the moments as they all coincide. Block time and I'm with myself and all the shitty nights. Sitting on a suitcase under city lights. Had to run away because it wasn't really right. To Somebody had commented on, I think, my last video or a video before that that um, she was homeless for a while. I have never been what I would call homeless, but I remember very early on, I would say my very late teens, 18, 19, I kind of bounced from place to place. I was on my own when I was 17 and I had nowhere to go. My best friend at the time, his parents were nice enough to offer a room for me, but I had nowhere else to go. That was my only option at the time. Thankfully, his parents were wonderful people and I had a safe place to stay. But there were many times where it was really close to me having to gather up all my belongings and have nowhere to take them to. So it can be really scary. I think that these things, these hardships that we go through can either break you or make you a stronger person. And we just know from who Nova is today that it's clearly made her a stronger person. All these awful things that she went through, I can't imagine rape. And now in her adulthood, she is this amazingly talented, wonderful, tough woman. These things have shaped her into who she is. Shitty nights, sitting on a suitcase under city lights. Had to run away because it wasn't really right. Took so many planes, met so many faces. Fell in love so often, broken all the same places. I could hear a voice, sounded like a boy. Drink cause they get louder when I'm wasted. And I laugh when my exes get stabbed cause I'm a bad person. Fuck me. And he hits me up and I don't give a damn cause I'm not that person. Who leaves? No. How many people have stayed in toxic relationships because you're not going to be that one to leave? How many people have been in abusive relationships and you're too scared to leave? You have nowhere to go. You have no other options. How many people have been cheated on? These are all these awful things that we go through that hopefully mold us into better people. 
me and he hits me up and i don't give a damn cause i'm not that person who leaves no i was staying drowned i want to be trapped under as it crumbles to the ground crooked is my crown yelling fuck it i'm down and throwing everything in reach you left your shit and i covered it in bleach i can tear apart the world that we created in a week and i can fucking help but telling everyone i meet when i crawl up on the stage and throw my heart into your feet i'm throwing everything in reach i'm throwing everything in reach remember me betty with a mean right swing on the one you want to dine out but don't like dinner we'll catch you with a side home throwing appliance if you didn't want a war why'd you break the alliance breach wow that's a great line if you didn't want a war why'd you break the alliance it all starts out tickety boo everything is new and exciting and it's awesome and then you find out that it's all been lies or you find out that you've been cheated on i have very few friends who married their high school sweetheart in fact i think i only have one <laughs> they're still married to this day but out of how many people that i went to school with does that happen the fairy tale romance I think that m the majority of us have been to the school of hard knocks. We try to spare our children from those hardships, but I think that in the end, everybody is going to learn their lesson the hard way. Nobody escapes this life unscathed, right? No, go catch you with a side home throwing appliance. If you didn't want a war, why'd you break the alliance? Breach, throwing everything in reach. Man, I covered hellish in gasoline or bleach. I will set fire to the sheets. I will fucking cut you into your meat. Do you know that if I could tell you shit, you'll forgive yourself for everything you did, every heart you broke, and every time you shed it. And hey, you do it all again like a pattern. Was that you go to meetings? The pain will turn to laughter. They'll write your big checks and you think it doesn't matter. You just want to rap and you know you'll go to hell and back to tell the world they're dying and nobody wants to tell them that. But that's one day, that's one too many days away. I know you want to die, you barely make it through the day. And every single guy you fall in love with walks away. Cause they don't have the same pain in them that makes you gray. Do you know I'm from another plane? I know sometimes you hit me in your brain. When you dumb, how I think you were insane. I'm the person that you come to with your pain. That was great. This is the first song I've heard of Nova on her own. And clearly she is just as transparent as Tom is with his music. It's so refreshing to hear rap, especially about something of substance rather than big booties, hoes, diamonds, <laughs> ad nauseum. She is just the cutest little thing. She looks exactly the same today as she does in this. It says produced 1987. I'm assuming that's when she was born. She lays it all out on the line. I've had a few of you tell me of her issues with record labels and how they screwed her over. So I assume that's the line where, you know, writing big checks came in. And I'm so happy that she broke away from that, that she and Tom are doing so well. She's just such a creative, talented mind, and I just love seeing this kind of stuff. So thank you for suggesting this to me, you guys, and thank you for being patient. As I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.